Hey everybody, this is Brian McIntosh. Wanted to do a quick training today on the four personality types. You know, I think when I talk about this in passing sometimes, I'll mention things like, well, that person's a dolphin or, or, or they're, they're a whale or this presentation is perfect for sharks. And I think people kind of look at me like I have three heads when I do that because they have no idea what I'm talking about, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to break down for you the four personality types and why it's important to understand the differences between them. Okay, the reason why you want to know what the four personality types are is because everybody is different. And the challenge and the tendency is for all of us to believe that everybody else thinks just like we do, but when in reality it could not be farther from the truth. The four personality types are very, very different. They think about the world differently. They have different wants, desires, needs, and ambitions, and they need to be spoken to differently. You have, in this corner, the Reds, okay? Now we call them, I've seen this taught two ways. It's taught by colors or it's taught by animals, okay? But reds are also known as sharks, okay? So if you hear somebody say, oh, he's a red, or he's a shark, you'll know what that means. The next personality type are the blues. Blues are also known as dolphins, okay? Dolphins, and I hope you're taking good notes on this. Once you get, once you understand this, you'll begin to understand better how to communicate with people, and you'll begin to see your recruiting efforts double and triple. You'll begin to see all kinds of things improve in your life. The third type of personality type are the yellows, okay? And yellows are what we call whales. And don't worry, I'm not going to leave you in the mess. I'm going to teach you what all these things mean, okay? And the last personality type are the greens. And the greens are also known as urchins, okay? Now what you'll hear is you'll hear me probably referring to people by their animal names because that's how I grew up, that's how I learned this. But you can also refer to people as reds, greens, yellows, and blues, okay? So let me give you the basic breakdown of these. An urchin, let's begin with urchins. What is the status of urchins? What's the big deal about urchins? Well, here's the thing. Urchins, and I'm just gonna give you the highlights here you can take as many notes as you want on my verbal comments, but I'm just gonna make the I'm just gonna put the highlights down here in black and white for you. Urchins are details, people. Urchins are like your engineers, okay? If you you know, an urchin is more likely to want to take it home, unpack it, figure out how it works. You know, they're they're gonna go home and do all of the research. They're gonna call the Better Business Bureau and they're gonna, you know, look it up in magazines and, and they're gonna Google it and they're going to go to every different commenting website. They're going to amass data, crunch numbers, make spreadsheets. Your urchins are your details, people. Urchins need to know every single thing about every single thing before they make a decision. And you are not going to rush them along either. An urchin might take two or three weeks to come to a decision about whether or not they want to do this. They're details, people. They typically move relatively slow and they're easy to spot, okay? Because urchins are typically have somewhat dry personalities. They're not necessarily very outgoing, and they're more likely to be alone most of the time, okay? Now, none of these are bad traits. I'm not saying that any one personality type is better than another. I'm just simply letting you know typically how these personality types uh, will conduct themselves, okay? So urchins are details people. They're slow moving. They don't make snap decisions. They usually have somewhat dry personalities uh, in that they're not very outgoing or, 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 or making a big noise, making a big splash, right? If they, if they showed up to a party, you probably wouldn't even know that they were there unless you went over and spoke to them, right? And they'll typically sit in the corner and watch everybody else. They're not going to be out in the middle of the room attracting a bunch of attention, okay? These are your urchins. Now, your urchins also have a characteristic about them that's very, very strong, and I love urchins for this reason. Urchins are like pit bulls. Once they get locked on to something, once they get sold, they are sold out, okay? Urchins are sold out. Once the urchin has done his or her research and they have come to the determination that this is for them or that they agree or that they're on board or whatever the case might be, they are sold out to that. They believe in their own research. They believe in the way that they you know, learn uh, you know, the things that they've convinced themselves of and they are not gonna be turned around. They do not change course easily. Love urchins for that reason. Whales are helpers. Your whales are people that just wanna help other people, okay? 
They want to be there for others. They want to, If you talk to a whale about how they can make more money, they're going to look at you like you got three heads and they're going to think you're some kind of evil person. You need to be talking to whales about how they can help other people because that is ultimately what they are interested in. They are helpers. Whales are easy to spot. They're the ones that know everybody. Everybody gets a great big hug. They'll run over to ever, anybody and everybody in the room. These are the kind of people that cry during Hallmark commercials, okay? Whales are people whose sole purpose in life is to serve others and to find a way to help other people. I love whales because they'll do anything for the people on the team. They're going to be the ones that are going to volunteer to help run the door and run the meeting and collect money if that's what's required. They're going to be the ones that will volunteer to help set up chairs and do all the rest of it. These are going to be the guys that will volunteer their homes for people to get together at if they need to have a meeting during the week. Whales are going to be helpers, and they are fantastic, wonderful people to have around. You know what's great about whales? Everyone loves them. They're very attractive people because they care about others and it shows, okay? So other people are attracted to whales and that is a beautiful thing. They are attractive people. And I don't, I'm not talking about pretty or handsome. I'm talking about the fact that they're very, very nice and loving and caring people and people like that. So whales are great to have on your team. It's great to be a whale. I encourage everybody to have whale characteristics. Dolphins, these are your fun people. They're just all about the fun. Dolphins don't really care about the money. They don't really care about the competition. They're not really interested in winning. Your dolphins typically have messy cars. There's fast food wrappers everywhere. They're totally disorganized. Papers are crammed into folders and folded in half. Dolphins drive urchins nuts, <laughs> right? Because dolphins are just all about the party. So when you're speaking to a dolphin about the business, you want to tell them about how much fun we're going to have and the trips we're going to take and the Cayman Islands and getting the house in the Caymans and how awesome it's going to be to go down there. We're going to get boats and we're going to entertain people and it's going to be a blast and you've got to be there on Saturday because afterwards we're going to be going to lunch. And that's all the dolphins are interested in is having a good time. They're typically somewhat disorganized. They're typically somewhat discombobulated. They're very often late. <laughs> okay, and your dolphins are going to be the people that are going to be in the center of the room making the most noise, attracting the most attention at parties and at gatherings, and dolphins are fantastic because everybody loves them. People love dolphins. They are very well loved, okay? Your dolphins are very well loved, and they are wonderful people to have on your team. You've got to love dolphins, but you also have to know how to talk to them. If you're talking to dolphins about winning and being the best and getting to the top of the charts, you've totally lost their interest. They don't care. Now we're on to the sharks. Sharks are very, very competitive. These are your competitors. Okay? Your sharks are your second place is the first loser kind of people. <laughs> okay? Sharks are you are the steamroller or you are the pavement. Sharks want it hard, they want it fast, they're not interested in details, they're big picture people, okay? Sharks are big picture people, they're not interested in details. If you try to give a shark a bunch of details about something, they're gonna get frustrated. You'll see them looking at their watch. They're going, come on, get it out already, what, you know, because they're got, they gotta move on to the next thing. They're, they're in a hurry, they got something coming up next. They're usually workaholics, they're usually somewhat narcissistic, they're very self-centered. Um, and, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, so if you're a shark, please don't take offense. All I'm saying is sharks are typically interested in what's in it for them, okay? They're interested in the big picture, they're interested in being competitive, they're interested in winning, and they're interested in money. They're money-motivated, driven, and they are interested in winning at all costs. If you talk to a shark about how they can help a bunch of other people, they're gonna fall asleep on you. You talk to them about being number one and being recognized in the company for having the fastest growing team, all of a sudden, you've got their attention. Sharks don't want a lot of details, they want the big picture and they wanna know how they can win and how they can make the most money, okay? Guys, this is, if you understand these person, by the way, sharks are easy to spot, they're typically very well dressed, they're typically sharp to the nines. They'll typically drive cars and wear clothing that announces to everyone how successful they are, right? Dolphins are easy to spot because they're typically pretty laid back, surfer types. Um, you know, they're usually fairly casual and they're always having a good time and they're always smiling. Sharks are almost never smiling, by the way. Whales are easy to spot. They're usually wearing Birkenstocks or... <laughs> Or, or dreadlocks. <laughs> no, I tease. But whales are, are very easy to spot. They're such loving people. They're usually very soft-spoken, and they're always hugging someone or helping someone or talking to someone. 
Urchins, again, also very easy to spot. Look for an engineer. That's an urchin. That's what they look like, okay? Guys, once you understand these personality types, you'll understand how to communicate with people better. You'll understand what their needs are and what they need to hear. And when you begin to give people the information they need to get them excited, you're going to see your enrollments go through the roof. This is also fantastic for social organizations, for your uh, spiritual organizations. This is fantastic for getting along with teachers and coworkers and helping your kids to understand how to get along with other kids. Kids, if you can begin to get this deep down inside, you're going to see your world begin to change. So that's the training on personalities. Now go out there and go to work.